Hey everybody, it's me, Adeki. I'm live again. I know, two days in a row. It's crazy, right? That's what happens when you're unemployed. Anyway, I'm gonna check the old uh, stream thingy on Twitch on my tablet and just see how things are going. Because there's so many- every every time I have- it takes me like 10 minutes just to set this stuff up, I'm gonna be fully honest with you. It's gone a lot quicker now, like I've definitely streamlined the process a bit from the first initial setup, but... It's gone a lot quicker now- Okay. Oh wait, sorry, I can, can you hear the game audio? Yep, perfect. Sorry for the echo in the beginning. There's definitely a better way to manage all this stuff. Well, it'll be easier to manage all this stuff when I'm back to console games. Which I could do any time now that I have the Elgato set up, but I kind of want to finish this game just on stream. I think that I actually need to check real quick. I think the last um, video got like 26 views, something crazy. Let me see real quick in my videos tab. Can I scroll? This says, yeah, no, this says yesterday's video got 26 views. Um, that's amazing. That's crazy. So I want to say thank you very much to everyone who tuned in and watched, because that is, I mean, that's. That's a noticeable amount of views. Like, I mean, God, I have what? Here's this highlight from three, from a year ago, three views. Here's this highlight, two views. Here's this highlight, two views, you know. Um, this stream has 14 views, and then all of a sudden, boom, 26 views. I mean, that is, is that the most views I've gotten on a stream? I mean, that's crazy. So thank you very much. That's very cool of you guys. Make sure you tell your friends. Um, I need to post that I'm live right now is a good point. That's which I do I think almost every time I, sh I mean sometimes I forgot but I think for coffee talk I've posted every time I definitely posted last time and the time before so Let me just post the link in the chat again real quick and I spelled my own username I misspelled my own username so Bear with me. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to start the game a bit sooner than last time because I feel like I was like doing housekeeping for 10 minutes Nothing wrong with that though Oh, you know what? And actually, there's a little self-promo thing that I have on, on my good friend P. Stone's Twitch. He has a little self-promo thing, and I... Hey, uh, let's see. Hey, live playing Coffee Talk right now. Twitch.tv. Boom. That's, see, that's what happens when you have friends in high places. Did I do this link right? How come it, it's not purple like everyone else's link? That's fucked up. Well, what? Okay, well, I edited it and it's still purple. Or it's still not purple, so I don't know. I feel like I'm being silenced by the liberal media, I guess. I don't like that TikTok's trying to be be real. I think that's annoying. Not every app has to be everything. Like, TikTok has stories. I don't care about a TikTok story. I'm gonna be fully, fully honest. The same thing, I'm not gonna watch Instagram Reels. I'm not gonna watch YouTube Shorts. I hate that every app's trying to become every other app. It all sucks. Um, today's gonna be a shorter stream. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, to kind of counteract the fact that I did, like, an almost two-hour stream yesterday. Which I know for some people, I feel like for a lot of streamers, it's not very long. For me, that's very long. For me, I don't necessarily, I don't know that I ever want to do a stream that's longer than two hours, to be fully honest. I know some people like those longer streams, and hey, maybe it'll change. Maybe if I'm, like, making money, I'll be like, hold on. <laughs> let me, let me put on a little top hat and cane and start dancing for the viewers. But as it stands right now, um, was some, I felt something in my feet, and I was like, what the hell was that? As it stands right now, you know, I'm not trying to go over movie length for the streams, but... Things could have changed. I mean, with 26 views, 26 becomes 30, becomes 40. Pretty good. Um, okay, we read all this. So, Couchella 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. Sports term in space, and it might only be uh, might be only a few decades away. And the World Health Organization vows to stop major hospitals selling furry sedative illegally. Fury. Goddamn. Hey, it's these guys again. He never really changed, I know. But it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. I don't think I had voices for these two. So I think it's fine. Um. Oh, what's the- oh, sorry. I, I just realized that I didn't have the Twitch chat up the whole time. Um, so what app is your story app and what app is your reels app? Maybe you'll get more views if you interact with chat. Ahem. 
sorry. I had the I had Twitch up and because I had it on the channel view, so it's like I saw my stream and I was like, okay, yeah, everything's looking good. And then I like it took me a second where I was like, this looks a little different than usual. And then I realized the chat wasn't up. Um, and also because this isn't like a console, I don't have the chat just automatically pop up on my monitor, which I would love. I wish, I think, how do other people, I think some people have like a second monitor that's like vertical just for Twitch chat. I would love that. So, can't win them all though. Hey Decky, what a poor stream. All right, yeah, I am a poor streamer. I am physically poor. <laughs> Please give me money. I like to order again, poor is in quality. Well, I don't know about that, but the usual. Back to the experiment, yes. You know what? Try adding milk to the ingredients you already have. All right, you know what to do. Wait, have I done this day already? Did it not save when I did this day last time? That's weird, or is he at? Cause then we do, it's tea, ginger, and milk, I think, right? It's the Galahad. No, that's ginger milk tea. Is it tea, milk, and ginger? This is, I mean, I can, thankfully, even if I've done this day before, I can just skip through all the dialogue. Galahad. Yeah. Try this, thank you. Cause then they have a whole, like, I feel like, unless this is just a similar setup as last time, but no. Would you like to order? I'm good for now. I want help. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my... Yeah, okay, we did this day already. So I don't know why it didn't save, but now I just gotta... Here, can I just fast forward? Not like, really fast forward. Oh, okay, I just pulled it. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know why it didn't save. That's very weird. Um, I would assume it just didn't save today. Oh, boy. Warm and cool at the same time. I forget what I did last time. Um, okay, so cinnamon makes things very- I think the only thing that makes things cool is the mint, from what I remember. Um, oh, milk does both, but the problem is that it's like, yeah, so now I need to add something that makes- Oh, but then it makes things bitter, the mint does. Oh, whoops. Oh, you can double- I didn't realize you could do double for that stuff. See, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, t uh ooh, see, I don't want bitter. So I do, okay, I think I do cinnamon and then I do mint, and then it doesn't make it as bitter, I think. That looks right. I'm gonna, mm, I don't know. What did I make? Cinnamon mint? No, okay, this is what I made last time, I'm almost certain. Here's your order. What is, what do they think? Exactly what I wanted, perfect. Cool, and I'm just gonna fast forward through everything. So I think today might have been, boy, it's like, it kind of meshes all together. I don't think of them as separate days necessarily, but this might be where the alien, because Gala leaves, I think Hyde and Freya leave together. I forget if the alien shows up, or if that was yesterday when the alien and the orc were there, if the alien shows up again today. Hmm, let's see who's gonna show up. Mm-hmm, and talk. So on and so forth. Wow, I really jinxed myself being like, you know, last stream I took like 10 minutes of housekeeping and things didn't really start. And now look at us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please surprise us. Okay, yes. Um, what do I want the base to be? I feel like I almost want to make something like really disgusting, you know what I mean? Like coffee, lemon... And, uh, just make it something super bitter, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Coffee, lemon, I mean, at the very least, I guess it would make me a new recipe. Um, I wonder what endless mode is, actually. That's kind of interesting to think about. Um, a cup of anything is ready for you, thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's, like, a certain recipe that actually would make the alien, like come alive and like react mm -hmm. so how's everyone doing today everyone good everyone happy okay alien's gone yeah because the alien was talking about like breeding freya which is 
Fun convo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they're leaving. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember. Okay. That was a pretty short day, I can consider. Jahi Tubrik, ginger presides with a ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Interesting. Definitely learning a lot. Oh, sorry, I forgot I have to stop bouncing my legs. Whoops. My bad. Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. It's the first day of the Festival of Lights. What's the Festival of Lights? Is that a Pokemon Go thing? Protests arise over government. Oh, you know what? I think it's because I never hit enter. I don't remember. I don't think I read this newspaper. I think that might be what like saves it, I guess. Protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Dwarven made cars face a challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. Yeah. So what is the thing with Pokemon Go? What does the Festival of Lights mean? Like different Pokemon or? Okay, back to talking. Now, some people messaged me privately and told me that I'm bad at doing voices uh, based on my stream yesterday. And to them I say, yeah. Uh, Morlil is coming to Pokemon Go and bonuses. Ooh, shiny. Good evening, sir. Hello, I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement District, or F-I-R-E for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of an alien sight of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm, I don't think so. What should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure, but according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's a pretty eye-catching outfit. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? Wow, the whole illegal alien? That's... That's writing. Um, that is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Would have charged them double. Whew. Really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? What is that wet sloppy noise? Oh, hey, Aqua. <laughs> so, wait. Okay, I remember this one kind of. I remember this voice kind of. Good evening, Adeki. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Green tea. Mint. Mint. Bam. All your voices sound the same? Not true. And I, uh... What's the word I'm thinking of? Resent the accusation. Or implication or whatever. Your drink's ready. Oh, this looks really fresh. I call this the Merke. A riot inspired by its origin. Merke? That sounds like the 4chan laugh, which I don't love. Marrakech. Marrakech. That's probably it. Marrakech. Marrakech in Morocco? I heard all the pe I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. I didn't forget to do the voice for a second. <laughs> oh my. It's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the tetaric. And I know how to make that. Does the game expect you to have some of these recipes? Or how does that... I guess it maybe expects you to... See, I don't know if the game expects you to experiment more or what, because it doesn't make sense. Like, how would I have known this recipe... Because there's not like a study mechanic as far as I know. You think, you know, I don't use the phone that often. I wonder if I was reading the phone stories, if there'd be more stuff. Hmm. Oh, these are, oh, it's by Freya. That's fun. I'm not, I'm not reading all this to be fully honest with you guys. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. But I'm sure it's lovely. I'm sure it's lovely. Oh, I first forget I can change the music too. What other songs we got on here? Ooh. That's fun. Um, and then we have... Oh, that's right. We have all our friend stuff. Hmm. That's funny that her favorite thing's coffee, 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 because that's, like, her order. 
Well, like her usual at the very least. Hmm, father of three beautiful girls. I oh, can't read that. Uh, lover of the bright moonlight. Okay. Wow. Look at all these people. Um, I will be looking up the ta Tariq then. So everyone just look away while I just... Hold on. It says it's a hot milk tea in southern Asian, southeastern Asian countries. Wait, hold on. In coffee talk, how do I make this? It says it's really simple. That's great. It's tea, tea, and milk. I knew that. Wait, you can do doubles of the top thing? Oh, you can do a lot. I want to try endless mode. Maybe I'll do that after I beat the game. If I have, like, extra time. Tea, tea, milk. Let's brew it up, baby. It's fun. Tataric. Done. Here's your Tataric. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic, just like the Tataric you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um, they're definitely gay for each other, right? How are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with the problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh, I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Huh. As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Wow. What are they, Rockstar? Am I right? High five. Crunch is killing people. Please see your family get some rest. But we all know the optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it. Wait, is my phone... What have a notification? Do I have something new? Oh, it's probably been like this for a while. Okay, there's Rachel. Oh, but we're not close friends yet. Neil. Don't know anything about him. Wow, we're not even friends with Neil? That's fucked up. Here's Aqua. Hendry. And he's... Oh, I'll look at him with Rachel. Gala. Veteran. Now working in a hospital. And Bailey's will click on. He's a Pumpkin Spice fan. Oh, it's a band. Okay, sure. Hide. Mm, mm hmm And Myrtle. Wow, we're three stars with Myrtle? That's crazy. But yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. I forget, when I do the stream like this, can you... Well, I mean, I'm reading it out loud anyway, but yeah, it does kind of obfuscate the... Uh, dialogue a little bit, which kind of sucks. Let's see. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know? At least the company gives us decent compensation. Sorry. I <laughs> sorry. I just got it. Um, <laughs> I sent a TikTok to someone, and it's one of those TikToks where it's like a little puppy, and it's like, oh, if you don't keep swiping, otherwise you'll kill this thing, this little puppy thing. So I said it, but then at the very end, it's like Bowser in a jock strap. And so the re uh, response I got was, really, dude? With um, like a, a, a somewhat upset emoticon. I stand by it 100%. It's tasteful. At least the company gives us deep, decent compensation, healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we were already used to this. I hit myself in the tooth with my water bottle. So don't worry about me, okay? It'd be so good if I could keep talking while drinking. Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be. I, I mean, remember to stay hydrated, kids. Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. 
Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West, Max West this year. What's a jock strap? Yeah, because you don't know. That's really good news. Congrats. That voice was nothing. Thank you. So what's the problem, then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast, before they give your spot away to another indie. I... I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good, then. And the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But... I'm not that confident. You pass the select- I'm a visual learner, by the way. I can send you the video of Bowser and the Jockstrap. I don't care. Hold on. Hold on. I should put this in the chat. Hold on, I got this. I know technology. Now I have to open up the- Oh wait, no, or can I do the universal clipboard thing on here? Can I paste it like this? Boom! Bam! Look at that. It's important everyone sees that. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality, if I'm not mistaken. The judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional, and thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, and you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. I see, I need one of those, um, those little stream deck buttons. So then when someone says something like that, I can press a button and it cuts to like a white, uh, like a close up of my face looking in the camera. Like it's the obvious, you know, like a womp womp. Or oh, with the sound effect, that'd be fun with a little womp womp. That'd be very funny. Let's all take a second to just imagine it since I can't do it. Wouldn't that be fun? Just a full stream of me telling you to imagine funny things I could do, but I don't. What if some hate- oh, fuck my life. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. I hate- anytime any media uses the word haters, I can't take it- like, the word haters to me is, like, cringe now. In high school- we're gonna take a break real quick not the camera in high school one time we had like an anti-bullying assembly which wasn't really an anti-bullying assembly whatsoever it was it was a like a radio channel like a radio station showed up at our school during like lunch hour and it was like a all class lunch if that makes sense instead of like divided by classes um and then they just like played loud music in like an outdoor area for us and then at one point, the guy said, Wait a minute, source for the Bowser Pig source. <laughs> I, I can try to look in the comments, maybe. But um, the guy just goes, How many of y'all got haters? Raise your hand if you've ever been bullied. How many of y'all got haters? How many of y'all got haters? Um, and then just kept playing the songs. Like, that, that was the extent of the whole anti-bullying thing. We also had a different anti-bullying thing called Teen Truth, which we immediately made fun of. Um, because of, like, I don't remember why... We had a couple school shooting threats. They weren't gonna do it. Like, it was fine. Um, <laughs> but, like, the guy had to come. And it was this, like, short dude. And at one point he goes, And, you know, someone came to my school once, and he had a loaded gun, and he was gonna shoot the school. And you wanna know who that person was? It was me. And then it was very hard not to laugh, because that man was, like, 5'4". Um, so, you know. It happens. Sorry, I sent a picture um, to a family member of a mouse being like, hey, there's a mouse here. And then they respond to me saying, OMG, is that a mole? I said it's a mouse. And there's a picture of a mouse. Five, four guys are hot. Look, five, four guys are hot. Okay, five, four, listen, you can be attracted to short kings. I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying if a five, four man came up to me in high school and tried to shoot me, I would punt him like a football. That man was not intimidating us. The man looked like a nerd. And like, sure, maybe he looked somewhat not as nerdy in high school. I doubt it. But like, I'm built different. I just am. But yeah. One of the school shooting threats we never actually, I don't think we ever actually figured out who actually sent it. 
but someone did. The other one, we definitely know who it was because he sent a picture to a girl saying, I'm a savage and I'm gonna shoot up the school. And there's a picture of him holding like a rifle sitting on like a bed and like taking a mirror selfie, which is really funny. Um, and then they're like, oh, don't worry, the cops came and like handled everything, blah, 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 blah. You're safe to go to school tomorrow. And I said, I'm not going to school tomorrow. Not because I was afraid, but because I knew no one can get mad at you if you don't show to school, you don't show up to school tomorrow, the day after a school shooting threat. No one's going to fault you for that. No one's going to be like, hey, this was due. No, 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 no. There was a man with a gun taking pictures saying he was going to come to school the next day. And you don't know that I found out that the school was safe. Because they didn't actually send us an email, I don't think. It was like a word of mouth thing. So, I'm not showing up. Back to the game. It's an expo, not the internet. I'm sorry, I'm getting another take. If this is about asking if it's a mole. Okay. Okay. It was, it was about the mole. People are way nicer in real life. I don't even know how to make this noise. <sighs> wow. That wasn't it. Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Oh, are they gonna get together? That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight, showing my baby to the public, I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh? So far my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. I'm not screaming. No, you don't have to do that, even if you're free then. You shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the events anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but, but... I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Okay. My voice cracked. Let's not pay attention to it. Okay, now what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? Oh, expo build ready. You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines of what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now, let's see. Y'all do this somewhere else some nerds. What you should be making is some bitches, like Dr. Victor Frankenstein. Hello, it's Rachel. Hi, Decky. I I can't think of... I'm not good at girl voices. I'm not good at voices in general. Um, I mean, technically, she... <laughs> if her dad's southern, <laughs> she could be a southern belle. Well, hey, Decky! <laughs> no, not doing that. What's wrong? OMG, it's true from Luna that way over my head. I, I have no idea. Huh? Oh, nothing, sugar. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty darn tired. Are you having a concert too soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow, but I'm gonna perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announce this, that those announce this later. Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yeah, and I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate? You know, I think this voice is actually doing a lot better. Um, okay, we got chocolate with honey? Yep, honey, and then milk? No, wait, wait, no, 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 sorry. Because if it's hot chocolate, chocolate then or no should it be milk then chocolate or chocolate then milk Ooh, let me see hold on hold on sugar um okay these are tea recipes this okay green tea okay uh cho i want to say it's chocolate milk and i'm just gonna freeball it oh whoops chocolate milk i mean i can always just spin it too um, she wants it sweet, and then honey, I think, is, like, the main sweetness, right? Yeah. Let's see how that comes out. Mm. Milk, honey, hot chocolate. I 
I don't think that that's correct. I'm gonna be fully honest with you. I'm gonna try it one more time. Um, so I did chocolate. So let me try milk. Oh no, I can't. No, it ha. Wait, what? So was that correct then? Because if I can't, so chocolate has to be first. So the only other option, because what else had sweetness, right? Like. Oh, cinnamon adds a bit of sweetness. But I mean, wait, can you do ch chocolate, honey, and cinnamon? What does that do? There's no liquid, right? Or like, oh, well, no, I guess it's hot chocolate automatically because it's hot chocolate mix. Honey, cinnamon, chocolate. Uh, I mean, it's definitely sweet. You know what I mean? It's sweet, like, yeah, because if it's... Uh, I'm gonna serve it and see what she thinks. Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. How is it? Hmm, not bad. Oh, God, it's not special, but it's enough. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Damn. I wonder if the original recipe was right. I feel like there should have been milk. Right, I mean, that's how I like my hot chocolate is with some milk, but the, I, I don't know. Um, I have a little sweetness. Okay. Other than the instruction on the loading screen. Try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably. But in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Freya? Dad? Oh, Lord. Having both of them talk to each other is going to be real fun for my throat. Wow, it's already 318? I might only do this night. I don't know. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, Jesus Christ. After what you did at the studio this evening. I was worried. I could <laughs> Hold on, I got this. Well, I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. Yeah, I was almost going for like Kenneth and 30 Rock, kinda. Kinda. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Adeki. We didn't mean to cause you any plum problems. I'm just throwing fruit in there at this point. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Lost the southern on that one. That was just a girl, I think. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Yeah, because I know what the fuck that is. Oh, what's that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Oh, well, sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Chocolate, milk, ginger. Thank God he told me what the fuck it was. Is that what I was supposed to give her? No, it's not sweet. Bam, Spanish Sahara. Is that a churro in there? Do we have those? Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. Wow, he is Southern. This is amazing. Hold on. Nope, nope. Well, this is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes. Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's gonna help me become more successful. I know, Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Daddy. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my... I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how my fans would treat me, and now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're... And because you're okay, because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing, you're just too young to understand. Then make me understand because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing, not even how to talk to your own daughter, Rachel. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm trying, okay. Well, try harder, Daddy, because right now, you're not helping anyone, not me, not you, not no one, not know how. 
I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I can return to the industry. I can try to be your manager. Daddy, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long, and I'm out of time. I told you I have informers there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out, but we... It doesn't work that way, Daddy. You know that at this point I'm just doing, like, my own, like original character in the Righteous Gemstones universe. Like, that's fully what's going on right now. They just say daddy every five seconds. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, could you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. Isn't this guy named... Mo yeah, like, it's like Morris Lester. Like, is the implication that he's a molester? Like, is this like some Dr. Luke shit? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, I don't understand if, like, the Morris guy is actually bad or if the dad's just being overprotective. I feel like the Morris guy's actually bad. I don't know. Um, he's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I made my decision. Waited fully. A yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. Like, that's what it feels like. Now, please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away, and it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. Where are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. Okay, so I feel like she's gonna go to the hotel. We're gonna find out Morris is a bad person. They're gonna, like... Come together as, like, a family. And then, um... She, he's gonna be her manager. Excuse me for a moment, Adeki. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Meh. I don't... The noises with the... I can't do it. No, I was listening. I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Hideki, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. Oh, God, the wet, sloppy noises. Oi. Is this our first day without a fire? Is this our showing up? I guess that's all for tip. Oh! Well, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh, yeah, yeah. Please don't worry about me, none. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking, yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Huh. <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago or so, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my, 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 I met, I met my wife while working. So she worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh, gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. I don't like talking about serious things while also doing the voice, but now it's like, I'm... <sighs> it was before the internet, mind you. I'm getting more texts. 
it was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even in, I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time. And we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's in my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you gonna be all right by yourself? Oh, don't worry about me none. I'm an old cat and we're stronger than most people think. Eh, see you later, Decky. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. All right then, goodbye. So I'll probably try to do one more night, and then we'll call it a stream. Wow, 40 minutes. Do I talk slow? I don't, I don't talk slow, I know that already. I just take a lot of breaks to say other stupid bullshit. But if it's entertaining, it's entertaining. Thursday, October 1st, 2020. Wow, are we gonna get to October? I wonder if I'll catch up, you know, if I keep playing. I don't think the game's that long, but... Couchella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised that picture of the girl with like i don't know what she's supposed to be holding but i think there's i think that's based off a meme i think there's like a like yeah rachel florencia confirmed to perform at Coachella 2020 gil gil naiman and maruki harukami to collaborate for a new ip pop culture stuff sorry we're not open yet oh neil you come very early today is there anything i can help you with there is definitely something you can do what is it how do we work here? Excuse me? What? Is it possible for us to work? Where's the Bowser source? Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I'll, I'll put it at the end of the stream. Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthings communicate in a very complicated way. It's Dry Skeleton on E621. He has two Twitters. His safe for work is at drawing underscore Jimmy. It is not safe for work. Uh, Twitter account is skeleton underscore wet. So let me just put that in real quick, just to verify, just to make sure it's not some bullshit. But I don't think they would lie about that. Nope. I definitely think this is. Yes, that is that is the Bowser source. So ha have fun with at skeleton underscore wet on Twitter. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and nonverbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. DM it. For fuck's sake, you can't do anything by yourself. What are you doing? Skeleton wet. Like, come on. You're grown. What are you- Come on. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on a finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job. If you get it at all. Don't I know it? See, that's where I need the womp womp thing. Because, Jesus Christ, this has been depressing. Oh... Let me think this over, if you don't mind, and I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for the spontaneity, but it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm, okay. Okay. Thank you, but with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you'll give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customer. Some people come here just to chill. They might come for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be, but always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed, don't worry. I'll give you a sign when you should start talking, or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all I need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though, to help keep your suit clean. 
and to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation, but it will make you look more legit for your job. That is a very earthling thing to do. It is. All right, then. Are you ready for this? We are. All right, let's start the night. Ooh. Well, special night to end the stream. Okay. As long as it's not more than, like, ten minutes, because... Don't have that much time. <laughs> Welcome. Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. So you're giving an illegal alien a job. Yes, yes. Hey, Decky, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight, and I thought I was the one that bought Brad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. That feels racist. <laughs> it's not that. Neil is just helping out. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista, not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived and come to a conclusion. Before starting another breeding mission, we should learn about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn, and you just agreed to this on one condition. I make the drinks. Neil will only be heard here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you, then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya. If I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yeah. How'd she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up in the elevator? Yes. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into her office and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya, but we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? So what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorites. Anything. I trust you with the decision. Okay, I'm just gonna pick some random bullshit. Uh, let's go, let's see. Chocolate powder, mint, and honey. Brew. Wow, it's cold, sweet, and bitter perfectly evenly. What'd I make? Mint honey chocolate. Boom, serve it up. Here is your drink, especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks, but today I might have an idea why. Was it? Oh, I guess it's not warm. That's right, because it didn't have any warmth to it. That's not. Na well, I made it before you even said make it extra nasty. How far along are you with the novel? I can prefer the draft in a few days, I think. A few days, I think. Not that I, now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood. That sounds doable, even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races, and we do not think infusing your bud with, blood with coffee would be advisable. <sighs> I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh, we are glad to hear that, then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard for us to understand your language. It'll always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask, ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number, but full time, I should be able to write between the three and five thousand words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with half, about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the day you need to write is between 50 and a hundred thousand. What the fuck? That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. That is a pleasant information? How many more words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. Huh, I wish. 
Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writer by the, writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for Earthlings. Yup, Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand, from languages to arts. Write again. You're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it is a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool. Huh. That didn't sound like you at all, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. On it! I mean, it's just coffee and... Yeah, it just said coffee. Yeah, she just said coffee and ginger, so I guess that's it. Do I have to do a secondary? Ooh. Um, oh, wait, I can do... Wait, reset. I can do coffee, coffee, then ginger. That seems right. Jahi tube. Oh, we just like learn about this. Okay, cool. Foreshadowing. Your order is ready. Not bad, thanks. You didn't even drink it. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Psst. Some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh. That definitely seems to visit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not here to sit just sit without being disturbed. Ah, pardon us. I was just training Neil on how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Er. Oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other? You know, that's a step in the right direction. One question. If you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which, essentially, is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try, step by step. One small step for you might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone, then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No, no special occasion. It's just... Lesbianism. Yeah, there's the wet slops. I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... What is this? What is happening here? I already told the barista to call the cops when he's... Okay. When he said he was gonna breed here. Okay. Where's the decky? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Huh. <sighs> okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Feeling better now? That's not water. Yes. I'm sorry. It is alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So, here is the deal. I feel like we didn't need two breaks like that, but whatever. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Hideki. It's nothing, really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start, but we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Well, where do you want to go after this? Couchella. Okay. What? What are you going to do at Couchella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening there. Lord. <laughs> there are many breedings happening during Couchella. He's not wrong. That is why we decided our, the event will be our next target. Well... You're not wrong. He didn't say the baby has to be born out of love. Didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Did he say that? Hmm. Yes. We noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about Earthlings, including the breeding manners. That is what we will study in Couchella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female Earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We are surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So, our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Uh, 
it's nothing. We're just friends, you know? We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander, so I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly, but she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But, wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? That was the wrong your. Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your- Whoa! Wow. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? How do you hear that, though? It sounds the same. It was the slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How do you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with the game? There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix, but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game, but in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing, control, and UI UX. <sighs> it must be fun to finish working on your creation. It certainly removed some of the weight on my chest just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book, I just lost my job, and if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya, but please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After a first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app, and then I read some of the stuff you wrote. <clears throat> Excuse me? They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than the others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them, so I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through, so I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to. It's just that... Sharing is caring, you know? Update on the Bowser. What is the update on the Bowser? Very excited to know what this is. Okay. Okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. The Bowser one was the only one I liked on the page. I'm so... I, I'm sorry. It's, I don't know what to tell you. I really am sorry. I know. I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm. I know that. Ugh, Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I get what you're dealing with. Kinda. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight, but no one outside the office knows about it, and those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under Friend EA, okay? Alright, I'm not with the paper anymore anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP, or worst case scenario another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? Eh, that's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write for years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all the countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The Seven Samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others when they're going through a crunch cycle. They need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the Seventh Samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized... What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. What they need to do is unionize, but that's a different discussion. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend slash vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey. Okay, but I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Mm, Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua, you look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now and prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? 
No, we'll walk together to the bus stop just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. Okay, see you folks later. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know, but not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, you're going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for doing some writing. Then please take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with? Still on the house? I definitely won't say no. Woo, we did it! Bitter heart. Shadows that will help to you try to hide. Okay. Okay. Coffee talk. Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Cool. Okay, well that's gonna be it for today's stream. Um, the evening whisper- Oh, it's whispers with two S's? But I swear it was written with one S somewhere else. It's with people- who, for stricter gun laws, new healthier for fury said it might be available soon. Action video game Rising Hell blame for violence in school. Uh, before I go, I'm just going to look up the Coffee Talk full play real quick just to give everyone a quick estimate of how far we are in the game. <laughs> oh, whoops, okay. Got to do a little state farm ad real quick. Hold on. Well, yep, yep, like in the good neighbor state farm is there. Um, we are over two thirds the way done with the game. That's cool. Um, oh wow, actually, okay, we're not that far. So we have, oh, okay, so, oh wow, okay. So it, this is basically a three hour video and they're two hours and 20 minutes in, based on where we are, which is roughly 40 minutes for them, which is probably gonna be about an hour and a half for me, I think. Um, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I think next time I stream this game should probably be the last time. Uh, excuse me. And then we can check out like endless mode and stuff. So yeah, um, thank you for everyone who showed up. Thank you for everyone who's been watching the VODs. Thank you for the 26 views I got on the last one. Um, be sure to check the highlights, share it with your friend. I don't think I really had any highlights for today, but it was still a good stream. You know, not every stream has to have a highlight. But, uh, yeah, so thank you very much to everyone who's followed, viewed, um, thank god, fuck. Okay, we get it. You don't like the game. I get it. Play Spyro. No. No. But again, thank you very much, I'm gonna stop the stream. Be cool. Don't die. Be healthy. Don't dislocate your shoulder. Don't have gastrointestinal issues that cause you to burp. Uh, be well. Oh, hold on. I have, oh. Bye.